focus. back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my February favourites for you. I can't remember if I did a January favourites. I don't think I did. But anyway, I'm doing my February favourites. I've only got six items so hopefully I'm not going to bore you to death by rambling on like I have realised that I actually do in my videos. It's quite embarrassing. But before I get started, if you guys do enjoy this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And secondly, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. I'd really like to get about 500 likes on this video. That would be absolutely great and one last thing guys if you could go onto my youtube page next to the subscribe button which hopefully you've already hit you will be able to see a tiny weeny little bell if you could click that and turn on my youtube notifications that'd be great because i don't want you guys missing any more videos but for now let's have a look at my february favorites so my first favorite is actually something really really cute but it could seem quite insignificant it's not if you know what i mean it is this little organza bag with some fresh real lavender in and I've got about, oh, I don't know how many I've got. I've got them all hidden around my room. And I think I've got about 15 of them hidden in loads and loads of places. And sometimes just hanging on things. And it makes my room smell amazing. It just smells like lavender but it's not like overpowering where I've hidden most of them away. Like I've hidden one behind the bin. I've hidden one like in some of the drawers. I've got one hanging on my hand cream which is actually this one. And it's just a really, really nice touch for a girl's bedroom because no girl wants a smelly bedroom for a start. And also, they actually look quite cute if you put them in these tiny little organza bags. They are really, really sweet. My second favourite is this. So you guys will probably recognise this because I know every girl loves a bit of argan oil. And boys, actually, because Connor uses this as well. Um, this is the Hydrating Hair Mask with Moroccan Argan Oil Extract Intensive Conditioning Treatment. This costs a bloody fortune in most places, but guess where I got this? Go on, guess. Poundland. And it's exactly the same as what you'd buy in Boots or Superdrug or Tesco's. And the reason I got it from Poundland is because it is exactly the same, but it costs a pound. And the reason they can do that, because at first I was like, well how does that make sense? Because why can they sell it for a pound in one place and like six quid in another place? Basically, the reason Poundland get all of this really, really good stuff so cheap and they are able to sell it cheap is because they buy it in bulk. So if anyone is looking for stuff like this, it is exactly the same, made by the same people, in the same packaging, the same stuff inside, but it's just like five quid cheaper. So go to Poundland. My next favourite is this jumper top. You can't see the whole thing, unfortunately, but I'll show you like that. And then it's got pink down the side. Is this jumper top from Victoria's Secrets? Well, pink. So I went in and had a little bit of a spend up in there recently, and I bought some really, really nice stuff because obviously what I do day to day is YouTubing and I'm just running around and just doing stuff and I love wearing comfortable clothing. If I'm going to filming, then I don't want to go in my clothes that I'm going to be filming in, so I'll go in comfortable clothing. And I just didn't really feel like I had like really nice comfortable clothing so I went and invested in quite a lot and this is one of the things I invested in and it's my favourite thing because it's quite different like if you look at the neckline you can have it done up oh, to the top or you can undo it like that like I've seen pictures of my nan wearing like jumpers like this when she was my age so I think it's quite vintage but in a modern way if you know what I mean I think this cost £56 or something and don't get me wrong Victoria's Secrets is quite pricey but their stuff is really really good quality and their new range is just unbelievable. My next favourite I can't really hold all at once but it's this really cute nail set from the Vintage Cosmetics Company. You guys will all know if you've been watching my channel for long enough that I am obsessed with this company like everything is just so so cute and they have grown so much since the first time I met them. I'll go through it all quickly one by one. This is like the cuticle clipper thing. You know what they use in the nail shops. And I just think the colour is so cute. It's rose gold stuff. And I love rose gold at the moment. It's so, so fashionable. And then this is the, like you know, like the buffer, the shiner, the 
file art and the remover rigid things um, and it's obviously all four in one file and then I've got big nail clippers I think these are for your toes these ones because then you get the little ones that I think are for your actual nails and then you've got the little nail file little pink nail file that's just adorbs and then you've got the toe separators which I never think to actually use these but it's surprising how useful they are when you do use them because I, I literally am the most impatient person when I'm painting my nails and painting my toes. I don't wait long enough and then I end up smudging them. So if I've got these on, I can kind of walk around at a steady pace and there's not really much risk of me smudging my toenails. And the last one is this really cute little nail scissor thing. And again, it's in rose gold and they're all just so, so cute. They all go really well together. And it was nice because I actually got these in my vintage cosmetics company advent calendar that they sent me over Christmas. The next thing I'm absolutely loving at the moment, and I'm sure I've spoken about this in one of my videos before, is the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Foundation. Um, I recently went on holiday skiing and come back with like a ridiculous face tan because it was so hot every single day and there was not a cloud in the sky and there was so much sun. And when I was just sitting at the bar, or even when I was skiing really, because none of us had goggles on or anything because it was so hot. Um, and it wasn't snowing so we didn't really need them my face just got so so tanned and I didn't really expect it and the only thing that I had when I came back was this foundation that would sort of match the colour because it's a darker foundation to what I would usually wear um, and it's been an absolute lifesaver like I absolutely love it and I don't need to put any powder over the top of it because it's really not that oily. So I'll put bronzer over the top, but I don't need to put any setting powder or anything. So I'm really, really happy with that. And the last thing I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, it's actually two things, but I'm going to talk about them as if they're one. It's the hand cream from Soap and Glory and the foot cream from Soap and Glory. So the foot cream is called he Heal Genius Amazing Foot Cream. And the hand cream is called Hand Food. And they both smell really nice but really different so the hand cream smells like your typical soap and glory smell like i don't really know how to describe that but you guys will know what i mean if you love soap and glory and the foot cream smells it smells like a bit more like clinical if you know what i mean i think i've spoken about this in a video before because i remember saying all of this but i'm just loving it so much that I need to talk about it again. These are actually mini versions of what you can get. I got them in a set, but you can get big versions. They're 50ml versions, these. I take this round with me, the hand cream, and I don't take the foot cream round with me because I'm not going to like whack my foot out at any point at other people's houses and in restaurants and stuff. But when I get out of the shower, I do put some Genius Heels on, or Heel Genius, whatever it's called. Um, and it says it's better than a pedicure. I don't often get pedicures, so I don't really know. But when I get out of the bath, I just whack some on my heels and on the sides of my feet. And it just makes them feel a little bit less rough, if you know what I mean. Like, I think where girls wear things like heels and stuff like that, they are at serious risk of some dead skin on their feet. But that gets rid of it. So, guys, that was my February favourites. I hope you all enjoyed it. And I didn't ramble on too much because I'm really going to try and stop doing that. Because Connor's always like, you ramble too much in your videos. People are going to get really, really bored. And I'm like, oh, really? Like I said at the beginning of the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell so you can turn on my notifications so you don't miss any more videos. Also guys, I just want to mention that my TV show is out at the moment on CBBC. It's called Got What It Takes and it's on on Tuesdays at 4.55, yeah 4.55, but if you miss it, we're I think we're on like... I think we've just gone past the fourth episode. So if you've missed them so far, you can get them all on BBC iPlayer. It's called Got What It Takes. Just type them in and you can watch them all. And we've still got another four, five, six, six episodes to go. I will see you guys on Sunday. Bye.